Well, today, Bernard's going to talk more about the book of prayer, the common book of prayer. And our key theme today was the very pure word of God is the heart and form of our gathering. Do you all know what that means? Yeah, probably not, no. (laughs) All right, so let's unpack it a little bit and see if we can understand it a little bit more. If I said to you the very pure, do you know what pure means? What do you think? Yeah, clean. That's a good thing. So I've got a big a big tick here because I said that for this sentence that it's used in, that it's perfect and it's not changed. It's the way it should be and the way it's meant to be. So that's what we're going to use as pure today. So you think, and I use white because white's often a pure colour. We often associate white with pure because there's no other colours in it. So that's what we know about pure. So we'll use this, we're using that tick. So then word of God, if we flick to the next Oh, I shouldn't have put that up there. I put that out of the way, didn't I? I think most of you would know what the word of God means. Does it mean just the parts where God talks in the Bible or does it mean the whole Bible? The whole Bible. So some Bibles have when God speaks or Jesus speaks little red writing. It's not just talking about those parts in the Bible. It's talking about the whole Bible altogether, every chapter, every story, every song, every piece of the Bible is the word. So we've got the very pure word of God. So then we're up to, oh, I forgot to flick here for yours. There you go. The next one, heart. Now, Toby, can you live without your heart? If you didn't have a heart, could you stay alive? don't think so. What about you, Levi? If you didn't have a heart, would you stay alive? No. Now, you're pretty super, Steve. Can you live without your heart? No, I don't think so either. So none of us can live without our heart because it's very, very, very important. And that's what they're saying about the Bible. They're saying it's very, very important. And as a Christian, we can't live without it. You can't be a Christian if you don't have a Bible and read God's Word. So our next picture, so we're up to the very pure Word of God is the heart, and then it says then form of our gathering. Now here's a lot of people on this picture. Well, is it up there too? Oh, yeah. Oh, they just because it could be anyone. You could choose one that you're going to be. It didn't matter. It was anybody. So the church doesn't just mean the building that we're in, not just this. The church means the people of God, God's people, all coming together at one time in one place as a gathering. So that's why that looks like lots of people. We could have more than that. We could have less than that. That doesn't. That's a minor detail. And so singing, worshipping God is important. Praying is very important. But this is saying that the Bible is the heart. It's vital and the church, Christians, we can't grow and live as Christians learning more about God and having a relationship with Jesus without the word, without his Bible. So if we put them all together, can we flick back and go all the way back to the tick? Thanks, ladies. All right, so the very pure word of God, next one, is the heart and form of our gathering. So as Bernard preaches today, and we're listening about the common brook of prayer, you listen to how much he talks about how much the Bible is used in the common brook of prayer. That will remind us how important it is. So let's pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for your word, the Bible, and your son Jesus, and through reading the Bible, we can learn more about him and your plan. We ask you help us to read it frequently so it's at the heart of our lives. Help us to tell more people about your word and to share Jesus with our friends and family. And if you agree, you can say, Amen. Amen. Amen.